So let x together with some topology tau be a topological space. Suppose that script B is a collection of open subsets of the space X such that for every open subset U of X and for every point in that set there exists an element b sub x in the collection script b such that the point x is in this element which is a subset of the set u then the collection script b is a basis for the given topology tau so proof We need to show that every open subset U of X is A possibly empty union of some elements. Of the collection script B. So if the subset U is the empty set, and the subset U is the empty union, of elements in the collection script B, So now suppose that the open set U is not the empty set, then for every point X in the set U, there exists an element B sub X in the collection script B, such that the point X is in this element B sub X, which is a subset of the set U. Now, as each element B sub X is a subset of the union of all such elements, and we'll use the index X in the set U, and this is true for every point X or index X in the set U, we have that that point is in this union And hence, the set U is a subset of this union. Now, as the uh, element B sub X is a subset of the set U for every index X in the set U, we have that the union of, of these sets is a subset of the set U. So we now have set inclusion in both directions so that the set U is the union of some basis elements. Now as an alternate proof Notice that the union of the empty set with the union of all elements B sub X containing the point points X and U is the union of these elements, which is the interior of the set U 
since this is a union of all open sets contained in the set U. And as the set U is open, we have that the set U is equal to its interior, and so is equal to the union of all basis elements containing the points of the set that are also a subset of the given set U. Okay, so new definition. Let X be a set and let script B contain elements B sub I for some uh, index C set I be a collection of subsets of the set X such that for every point X in the space X that point is in an element B sub I for at least one index I in the indexing set I if a point is in the intersection of any two elements in this collection script B then there exists a third element in the collection script B such that the point is in this third element which is a subset of the intersection of the elements B sub 1 and B sub 2. Then the topology tau generated by the collection script B is defined as follows. A subset U of the space X is open, that is, in the topology, if and only if, for every point in that set, there exists an element in the collection script B, such that the point is in this element, which is a subset of the given set U. Now, notice that in this definition, we are not assuming an a priori or pre-existing topology, Rather, we are defining a topology in terms of a collection of subsets of a set X that satisfies two conditions, and we refer to this as a topology generated by a basis. So next we will show uh, that this definition satisfies the definition for a topology. So let tau be the collection of all subsets of the set X where for every point in that subset there exists an element in the collection script B such that the point is in this element which is a subset of the given set U. Notice that the empty set satisfies the condition for openness vacuously now for every point in the entire space there exists at least one element in the collection script B such that that point is in the element B sub I which is a subset of the space X and so the entire set is in the collection tau. So both the empty set and the entire set are in the collection tau. So let the collection of sets use of alpha for alpha in some indexing set J be an indexed family.
of sets in the collection tile and let the set V be the arbitrary union of these sets. Suppose that the point X is in the set V, then the point X is in a set use of alpha for at least one index alpha in the indexing set J where once again use of alpha is in the set tau so there exists an element B sub I in the collection script B such that the point X is in this element which is a subset of the set U sub alpha and hence for every point in the set V there exists an element B sub I in the collection script B such that that point is in the element B sub I which is a subset of the set V. Since the set V is the union of all uh, such sets use of alpha and thus the set V which is the arbitrary union of a collection of sets in the collection tau is also in the collection tau. And so the second condition uh, in the definition for a topology is satisfied. So let u sub 1 and u sub 2 be two elements in the collection tau and let a point x be in the intersection of these two sets. Then the point X is in the set use of 1 and the point X is in the set use of 2. Now as the point X is in the set use of 1 which is in the set tau, the collection tau, there exists an element B sub 1 in the collection script B such that the point X is in this element B sub 1 which is a subset of the set use of 1. Now as the point X is in the set U sub 2, there exists an element B sub 2 in the collection script B such that the point X is in this element B sub 2 which is a subset of the set U sub 2. That is, the point X is in the intersection of two elements B sub 1 and B sub 2 in the collection script B which is a subset of the intersection of U sub 1 with U sub 2. And so there exists a third element, B sub 3, in the collection script B, such that the point X is in this element, B sub 3, which is a subset of the intersection of the elements B sub 1 and B sub 2, which is a subset of U sub 2 and subset of U sub 1 intersected with U sub 2. And so the intersection of any two elements in the collection tau is also in the collection tau. So let u sub 1 through u sub n be a finite collection of sets in the collection tau. We will show by induction that the finite intersection finite intersection of these sets is also in the collection tau so the case n equals 1 is the statement that use of 1 is in the collection tau which is true So suppose that the case n minus 1 is true,
that is. Suppose that the intersection of the sets u sub 1 through u sub n minus 1 is in the collection tau. Then the finite intersection is the intersection of this intersection, u sub 1 through u sub n minus 1 with u sub n, which is an intersection of two sets in tau. And so this finite intersection is in the collection tau. And so all three conditions for the definition of a topology generated, or rather, of a topology, is satisfied by the definition of a topology generated by a basis. So as an exercise, let the collection script B be the set of all subsets of a set X, such that the point P is in that subset. Show that this collection, script B, satisfies the two conditions for a topology generated by a basis. And second, show that the topology generated by this collection script B is the particular point topology on the set X. Now, in the uh, first part of this exercise, we have already demonstrated that the second condition is satisfied. So it remains to show that the collection script B is a covering of the uh, entire set X. Now, as a second exercise, let the set X together with some topology tau be a topological space and let the collection script B consisting of the sets B sub I for I in some indexing set I be an indexed family of open subsets of the set X such that the uh, elements in the collection is a covering of the entire space X and if a point is in the intersection of any two of the elements in the collection script B then there exists a third element in the collection such that a point is in this third element which is a subset of the intersection of B sub 1 and B sub 2. Show that the collection script B is a basis for the topology tau. So in this example, we have a pre-existing or a priori topology, and we have a collection of open subsets of the set X that satisfy these two conditions show that this collection is a basis for the topology. 